Marvel's first family launched a generation of superheroes that endure to this very day. Reed Richards, Sue Storm, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm have been the faces of the family for most of the time since its inception back in 1964. But on Saturday mornings in 1978, a new cartoon appeared and there was one member missing, Johnny Storm. Let's take a couple minutes to talk about the legend of why Johnny Storm wasn't in the cartoon and what the real reason was. Before we dive into this story, make sure you press that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for all the updates. Also, we're going to give away this PlayStation 5 at 25,000 subscribers. All you have to do to get in on the giveaway is be a subscriber and leave us some sort of comment. Well, in the late 1970s, you had to look to cartoons most of the time to get your Marvel Comics fix. And in 1978, fans were about to be treated to a new Fantastic Four series. But when it finally premiered, something was missing. The Human Torch. The Human Torch had been replaced by Herbie the Robot. And to say fans were a bit disappointed was an understatement. Now, for the longest time, there was an urban legend that surrounded the reasoning for Herbie the Robot. The accepted story was that a young man had actually doused himself in gasoline and set himself on fire in an effort to emulate his favorite superhero. But it turns out, that's not true. Now, comic guru Mark Ebener did an interview with POV Online several years ago and broke down why exactly the Human Torch was not part of that cartoon. This is what he said. In 1977, Marvel made a deal that licensed a number of characters to Universal Studios to be developed as live-action TV movies and potential series. The Incredible Hulk came out of that deal, as did the pilots for Doctor Strange and Captain America that never became regular series. The Human Torch was one of those characters that Universal wanted to develop, and a teleplay was written but never produced. This meant that the following year, when NBC wanted to buy a new animated Fantastic Four series, the rights to the torch were encumbered. Universal, which was not involved in the cartoon show, would not make a deal that would allow the torch to be included. Therefore, he was replaced by a robot named Herbie, conceived and named by Stan Lee and designed by Jack Kirby. The rumor that is asked about above was abated by a few statements from folks who worked on Marvel's animated projects saying that the torch was omitted for cited reasons. Either they had short memories or figured there was some PR benefit to claiming that. And of course, it's theoretically possible that had they not made the switch, there would have been some objection to the torch, but it never came to that. Now, what's interesting is, in 1985, a comic actually reproduced this story as part of the Fantastic Four storyline. The cover date on the issue was December 85, and the issue number was Fantastic Four 285. Now, this story involved a kid, Tommy Hansen, who loved superheroes, particularly the Human Torch. Now, you find out in the story the kid had a rather tough life. And just like the urban legend, he actually sets himself on fire to emulate his favorite hero. Unfortunately, in the comics, Tommy actually passes away, and it deeply affects Johnny Storm. Now, if you read the book, you find out the Beyonder takes Johnny back in time and shows him how this kid's love for Johnny Storm actually made a very sad life worthwhile. The story was actually written and penciled by John Byrne. And going back and reading it, I have to say, pretty emotional. Although the urban legend itself has persisted for many years on why Herbie was included, it really wasn't for the reason that many think. Behind the scenes contract negotiations are always very mysterious to fans and we're never given all the details about exactly what happens, but now you know. So what do you guys think of the real story behind Herbie the Robot? And how do you feel about Marvel Comics utilizing the urban legend later on in an actual issue of Fantastic Four? Sound off in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you press like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you ain't getting any updates. Peace.